Mm. One woman reveals she recently married a zombie doll. Okay. Yes, a zombie doll. The 20-year-old Massachusetts woman said that marriage ceremony took place in Rhode Island. Mm. Wow, Tucci, <laughs> what say you? Okay, what say you? There's actually a name for this condition, too. You're making all this stuff <laughs> up, Dr. Judy. Uh, not me, but other psychologists. So, objectophilia is the name of this condition. People fall in love with inanimate objects, and I've actually known of people to Ooh. marry buildings, structures, okay. trees, and even chandeliers. Well, what causes this behavior? I gotta know. Right, you know what? There's a, a few things. So we know that it's associated with somebody who tends to be very shy, and they tend to have oh. difficulty in social relationships where there's an actual reciprocal give and take. They feel a little bit more comfortable with an inanimate object. And in fact, some of these individuals actually have supernatural beliefs about these objects, that they have feelings and thoughts. Shut and so they will the door, say, girl. Yeah, what? so they'll say, my chandelier loves me, and she tells me every day how much I love but, you, but Dr. Judy, other. if she posted this picture on social, how, how does that, you know, how do we square that with a person who's so shy that right. they need to marry a zombie, but yet they're posting this picture online? Oh, so they, well, that and, exactly. and you gotta remember that social media for a lot of people is an indirect way of interacting with others, right? Because okay. there's no person directly judging mm. you. You're not having to answer their questions right away. So what do you do after you get married, Dr. Judy? Now they've yeah. exchanged their vows. What's next Babies. for this couple? It's very amazing. <laughs> I mean, again, the cases that I've known of, they actually say yeah. that they have great sex lives. I don't <gasps> know how that works. Not just with a zombie doll, but like with a tree. And they will say, this tree satisfies me. My husband, the tree, satisfies okay. me. I don't know how that works. Are they humping the tree? <laughs> I, got I don't have any photo evidence. Sorry, I just got I don't have any photo evidence. Okay. <laughs> so here's my question for you guys. Here's my question for you guys. If they say they're happy and they're fulfilled and they're not hurting anybody, is this really a problem? Oh, I will oh. never stoop that low, folks. Don't ever worry about that. <laughs> Vivica, would you ever go to a wedding? for a person who wants to marry a building. Absolutely not. <laughs> Your best friend calls. Hey, Viv, I'm getting married. I will be like, so listen, um, I have a friend I want you to meet. Her name is Dr. Judy, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you're gonna sit down and you're gonna talk with her so we you're can figure out what's going answer. on with you. I'm gonna oh my straight. goodness, I mean, that's yeah. insane. Yeah. That's a tough question though. That probably happens to people where they get that kind of invitation and have yes. to make a decision. Yes. Do I support my friend? Or do yep. I call them out? Yep. Well, you're definitely not getting a gift. How about that? <laughs> now it's time to reveal our obsessions. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's time. All right, I got some fans in the house. To face the truth. <laughs>